Hi there and happy Thursday KG1C. I am very excited. Um, to, well, this morning in Dubai, here it is nighttime, but it is morning in Dubai. I'm so excited because today I am reading a super special book. I've never read this book to a KG1 class before. I've read it to grade one and grade three. And then I was thinking, hmm, I know my KG1 kids are ready to listen to this book now and they will like it, I think. So this book is called The Dot. And yesterday we just did a dot to dot in math. I did not plan that, but this book is called The Dot. And I made a poster here that we're just gonna talk about a teeny bit. And in the middle, I put the cover, The Dot by Peter Reynolds. Now, sometimes the author, that's the person who writes the, writes the book. So Mr. Peter, who wrote the book, he wants to teach us something in this book. He doesn't want to teach us about weather or animals or things like that. Here it says, what does the author want to teach us? I'll give you a clue. He wants to teach us something about being a person. We're all people, right? We're not like dogs or cats. Just like when you were little, your mommy and daddy taught you when you were a baby that it was not okay to bite biting. That's ouch. That's not safe. Well, Mr. Peter is going to be teaching us something in this story. So that's what we're going to be thinking about as we listen to it. And I'm also going to tell you one little thing about me. When I was five years old, I was in, let's see, I was five when I started grade one. Um, I was really young. Usually you are not five in grade one. And I'm going to show you a picture of what I look like, looked like so you know. Um, I was in Hawaii, so I'm wearing a bathing suit at the beach. So there's me when I was five. And when I was five, I loved school. I loved KG1, KG2. I loved grade one. I could read. I could do math. But then I got to art class and my brain went, Heather, you can't do art. You're so bad at art. You can't do it. You're so bad. That's what my brain said. This story is about Vashti, a little girl. And let's see what her brain says when she gets to art class. And I'll get closer to the screen so you can see. So here's Vashti and she has short hair. You might be able to see her face doesn't look too happy there. Let's see why. Okay. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. It didn't draw anything. Now, she has a very nice teacher. <gasps> Bashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Oh, you drew a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. She's making a joke because, look, if I said, oh, I drew a polar bear in a snowstorm, it's just a white piece of paper. It's like saying, I drew a black spider in the nighttime. So Vashti said, very funny. I just can't draw. And this up here on the poster is what she's saying. I just can't draw. And that is how I felt when I was in KG2 and grade one. <gasps> Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. 
And that's very important. That's so important up here. Here's the teacher. It says, just make a mark and see where it takes you. So she just wanted Vashti to make one little mark on the paper. So Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good strong jab there. So here, if I'm if I'm I'm gonna be Vashti for a minute, okay? She like took the crayon and was just like there. And is that the prettiest picture? No. Let's see what her teacher says. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it very carefully. Hmm. She pushed, oh, there you can see the little dot. She pushed the paper towards Vashti and quietly said, oh, now sign it. That means write your name on it. That's what you do when you make good art. And Vashti's thinking, are you crazy? You think this is my good art? I just made a mad dot. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can write my name. So here she's writing her name. Okay. The next week, when Vashti walked into art class, you will never believe what she saw. Hanging above her teacher's desk. <gasps> it was the picture she drew of the little dot. Her teacher had put it in a beautiful gold frame. <gasps> it was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Huh. Hmph, she said. Oh, I can make a better dot than that. Do you think she's going to start maybe making some art now? A little bit? <gasps> she opened her watercolor paintings. She had never used them before and got to work. <gasps> if I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper. <gasps> to make bigger dots. Oh, and I love this. Look at this page. <gasps> Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. It's like a white dot in the middle with paint all around. Wait a minute. Is she doing art? She's doing art. <gasps> a few weeks later, there was a school art show. Oh, my goodness. Vashti's many dots were all over the walls and everybody loved them. And all they have her name on all of them. They say, Vashti, 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 because you sign your art when you're done. And this picture is here because this is an important part that's going to happen. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. I bet he's like in KG1. Maybe she's in KG2 or grade one. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line. Does he sound like Vashti did before a little bit? Well, the boy tried to make a line, but it turned into a squiggle. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said one thing. Please sign it for me. Is that just what her teacher said to her? And that is the end of the 
looks a little bit different. This is a more grown-up book than some we read. And this could be a good one to talk to your parents about too. So very quick before we um, go, let's talk about what do you think the author was trying to teach us? And I wish you guys were here with me to give me your ideas because I wrote down a couple ideas, but you might have different ideas. This is the one I wrote it on a heart because I thought of myself when I was little and I still feel this way. Sometimes I'm so scared and nervous to make a video that I don't want to. But if I can do something little to start, just like she made that little dot, that helps me. So I wrote when something feels really hard, like you can't do it. Like you can't write your name or you can't do it. Start with a small mark. Start small. If I'm going to make this up. If I solve, um, thought, oh, it's just too hard to write my name. He could start by just making a line. If something feels really too hard, just start small and see what happens. So that was one thing I thought of. And then the other thing I wrote was, because the teacher says, just make a mark and see where it takes you, see what happens. And I wrote one little mark on the paper can be the start of some big adventure. She made one little mark on that paper and then all of a sudden there was a big art show. Now, you listened so nicely to that story. Let me tell you about what you're going to be doing at home today. And I will give you a clue. I'm gonna glue this right here. Um, you are going to be making your own art. And I, the only rule for your art is that it needs to have some dots or circles on it. It doesn't all have to be dots or circles, but it needs to have some. And I'm going to show you some examples. Where was I going to put this one? There we go. Okay. So you may draw, and I will write this down for your parents as well and on Seesaw. You can do um, an art drawing on Seesaw if you want with dots. And I'm going to show you actually some pictures I printed off the internet. Um, this was, and, and some of these were made by older kids, so I do not expect anything to look perfect. And guess, oh my gosh, guess who else is going to do this assignment? I'll give you a clue. She really gets nervous about art still. I'm going to do it too. And I'm going to start with a small mark. Um, so this person made this on Seesaw. Um, and then there's some other pictures of dot art where kids used... Can you see how this is some fish and it's showing under the sea, but they put dots in it. And I saw some pictures that kids did with like a butterfly with dots and circles all inside the wings. This is a, a beautiful, colorful design. Now, this is one that a grown up made. So let's see if I can make it so you can see it a little better. So. That might, maybe you could make something like that. I don't know, but um, it might be tricky. Here's somebody did some painting on a paper plate with some dots. And then we have, oh, somebody made a heart. Oops, sorry. It's turned right. A heart out of dots. And again, a lot of these are paint, but you can use paper. You can use Play-Doh. You can use anything you want. To make something, the only rule is it has to have some dots or circles in it. But it doesn't have to be all dots or circles. This one's pretty cool. They mix some paint. Um, 
And this one they did with paper. A different kid made each of those and they put them together. Um, again, these are just ideas. Do you have to do this one? No, you get to be the boss of this. If you want to make, I don't know, flowers and have dots and circles in the flowers somewhere or in a tree, it's totally up to you. And again, I will put that in the seesaw assignment. Um, and I hope you remember, I'm going to be telling myself over and over and over because I'm going to get nervous making art to show you. And I'm going to remind myself, when something feels really hard, Heather, like you can't do it, just start with a small mark. Like maybe this will be my page and I just start with a black circle. I can make a black circle and then I see what else I can do. All right. Thank you for listening. I love you all so much. And I hope you have a lovely weekend. We only have two more weeks of school, I think. Hmm. But I'm so excited for you to be grown up KG2 kids. All right, my loves. Goodbye. Thank you for listening and have a great weekend.